Hello and welcome. I am Mike McMillan coming from my Info Product Earnings YouTube channel and thank you for stopping by today. Um, if you've never seen one of my videos before, um, we talk about ways to produce better videos, higher quality videos, some tips and techniques along those lines and uh, how to get more views to those videos and that would hopefully let you make some money with your videos. I'm sure you're interested in that. We all are. So today what we'll look at is uh, a way to get more views to your YouTube videos and today what we'll be talking about is using click-through rates, trying to improve your click-through rates on your videos. And we'll talk about what that is and exactly you know, how to do this. But we're going to be talking about click-through rates and um, increasing the click-through rates on your videos. Okay, And it's very easy to do. And the nice thing is, even if you've already posted some videos, um, there are a couple things that you can do to increase your click-through rate without taking your video down, re-editing it, and putting it back up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very easy to do this. Um, so that's what we'll look at here today. Okay, well, let's get started. Hey, very quick. You can download my free 24-page YouTube rankings ebook at the link in the description below this video. Okay, well, what we want to do today is to get more faces in front of your YouTube videos, more people watching them. We want to help you get your view counts up and get more views on your videos. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that YouTube is watching your videos. And not only does YouTube watch your videos, it watches the people who are watching your videos. And this is important. And it's important because YouTube keeps track of all kinds of data, like how long the average person watches one of your videos, how many views you're getting, your click-through rates, um, and I'll talk about click-through rates in a little bit here. How many subscribers you've got, who they are, the traffic sources. YouTube keeps track of how people find your videos. Um, are they coming in from, you know, websites or blogs or someplace where somebody's embedded your video um, through a YouTube search or for suggested videos and things like that. Keeps track of your browsing history. It knows what kind of videos you like to watch. It knows what kind of videos other people like to watch that may come in and watch your videos. YouTube keeps track of the search terms people use to find your videos. So just as an example, and, and YouTube does this in one, one of the main ways is by using cookies, little lines of code that it embeds in your browser uh, <clears throat> Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, whatever. And just to show you something, this is kind of interesting. These are all cookies that YouTube has placed on my browser in Firefox. Just in the past couple days, and there are more than this, but that's all I could fit in the screenshot <laughs> that I took. And I use the web developer tools and Firefox to uh, find all this stuff. And you don't have to go in and find all that, but YouTube uses cookies to keep track of all kinds of data. And again, YouTube keeps an eye on your videos and records lots of data. And we can access some of that important data to get more views to your videos. So let's jump in and see how we can do this. Okay, well, let's get started. So I. Uh, I came up here, I opened up Firefox, I went to YouTube, notice I'm not signed in. And uh, when I scroll down through here, you know, I said YouTube keeps track of <clears throat> everything <laughs> that you do on the YouTube channel and what other people do that watch your videos as well. So on my page anyway, when you come down through here, you'll see a lot of music videos. Helen Ebay, she's great, great guitar player. Uh, performer, all this stuff, a lot of music videos because that's what I watch. I've, I've got a guitar that I play. I like to watch other people play the guitar, learn how to do things. Lindsey Buckingham, he's my man right there. Um, and uh, uh, David Gilmour playing here, and um, you know, from Pink Floyd, and all these uh, guitar things because I like to watch other people play songs, learn how to play them myself, and uh, uh, you know, things like that. So, I like math and science things. There's some stuff like that in there. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Now, a little trick I use. Anytime I'm doing research on YouTube, like to see how my videos are doing, where they show up in search results and things like that, I always open up a new window. <clears throat> and in Firefox, I use new private window. 
uh, if you're using a new private window, YouTube can't track you, can't track what you're watching, you know, where you're going, things like that. You get now you'll see there are no music videos showing up here, very few. These are just generic videos. YouTube doesn't know what to uh, put up here for me because it can't track me right now. You get a better indication of what other people would see, you know, if they check out your videos. So anyway, let's come up here. Let me just show you something. Let me pick one of my videos. I use H4N Pro Remote Audio Recorder to record the audio for my videos, okay? And let's try uh, H4N Pro Training. We'll do a search for that, okay? And you notice that ever since I put this video up, it's come up in the number one, two, or three spots in the search results, which is great. I, I like that. Now, granted, I've only got 3,000 views or so for this, but I get more every day. It's it's working for me. I'm not going to get a million views out of this, but, uh, you know, it's kind of working for me. Now, when somebody clicks on this, if they see this and it comes up in the number one spot, there are two things that entice people to click on my video over some of these other ones. One is it shows really well up at the top. Two is your thumbnail image. And this thumbnail image, I like to use bright colors. I'm using this kind of fluorescent green color. Um, so I like to use bright colors. Big text, all these words are very big up here. I made them big and bold to show up. There's a picture of me. That may not get me many views, but uh, here's the H4N recorder, the picture of it right there. So you need to have a good thumbnail image. Okay, that's extremely important. That's all people see at first is your thumbnail image. And then make sure that your title has, you know, your main keyword. You know, it's about the H4N Pro. That's in my title. You've got to have that. The description, that can be kind of good, but still, that's not going to entice somebody to come in and watch your video. It's your thumbnail image and your title. That's what gets you clicks. That's what gets your click-through rate high. And the bigger your click-through rate, the more likely it is YouTube will show your search result, your video in the search results, because YouTube wants to show videos that people actually click on. Now, I think I mentioned this before, if I didn't, the average YouTube video gets about from 2 to 10% for a click-through rate. And your click-through rate, again, it's just how many clicks you get divided by the total number of impressions or the total number of times your uh, thumbnail image shows up. So, you know, if you're getting a click-through rate of 1%, less than 1%, 2%, 3%, you probably want to play around with your thumbnail image and uh, your title and make it a little bit more enticing. The higher your click-through rate, the more views you will get and the better YouTube will show you in its search results. That's critical, your click-through rate, okay? Now, when somebody comes in here, for example, there are all of these other videos in here on the same topic. There are hundreds of videos in there, and I'm happy that mine comes up number one. You know, if I did another search, it might come up two or three or four, but it's always right up there close to the top. Down here, you can see all these videos, all these other ones, 41,000 views, uh, 200,000 views. This is 150,000 views. We could click on any one of these. Let's click on this one. See what happens. Okay, check this out. This is an ad playing before this guy's video, but look at over here. Let me get that off of here. Um, look what comes up over here. That's my video. So even if I don't show well in the main search results, if you can get your video to show up in the suggested results, this says next. When this guy's video is done, mine's going to start playing automatically. That gets me a lot of views. I get more views from having my video show up in the suggested results than I do in the main YouTube search results. So that is a big thing. Again, you've got to have a good thumbnail image. You've got to have a good title. And um, if you can get it to show up over here in the suggested results or related results, um, you can get a ton of views. So just keep that in mind. Let's go back. Um, one more time. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is a good guy, Mike. Um, Mike right here. He makes good videos. And uh, again, this is about the H4N Pro. If I click on this, I bet you're coming right up. 
Okay, he makes very good videos. Um, I highly recommend him. But over here, I didn't show up in the number one spot, but I showed up in the number three spot right down here. So again, I'm getting views from having my video show up as suggested videos over here. Again, you got to have a good thumbnail image. You've got to have your main keyword phrase in here, and uh, that can get you views. I'm not going to show up in all of these, you know, I mean, it, it, some of them I will, some of them I won't. Right here, let's try this guy's, his, his is in the number one spot. Okay, so again, there I am right up here, and this guy gets quite a few views, and I drain some of those views off because I show up in the suggested videos. Again, you've got to have a good thumbnail image and a good title. If you've got those things, you should be able to get your click-through rate up. Even if you've posted videos, you can go in and change your thumbnail image, and you can go in and change your title and try to get more, uh, yeah, try to get more views, try to get a higher click-through rate. That will help you enormously. Okay. Now the other thing is, let me um, close this down right here and come back in again. This is. I'm not signed in, but these are all these music videos because that's what I like. Um, <clears throat> and let me sign in to my account, show you something else. Okay, so we'll sign in right here. And now that I've signed in, um, I'm going to come up here, click on my picture up here, go to YouTube Studio. This is where it lists all of your videos. Okay, and I'm going to come to the video section, click on that. Here's all my videos right in there. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is look for that H4N Pro right here. Here's that video. Come over to the analytics button, click on the analytics so I can see what's going on with my video. And <clears throat> right here uh, it says I've got 3.1 thousand views, I've got uh, 3,100 views, something like that, watch time, different things. But here's what I want you to look at. Over here it says suggested videos. Notice that 51, over 51%, no, it's 61% <clears throat> of my traffic is coming from those suggested videos where it shows up on the right hand side. Okay, I, said, I mentioned that a few minutes ago. Only 18, less than 20% is coming from the regular YouTube search where it shows up. And mine does show up good. But I'm getting most of my views from those suggested videos. And the way that you do that is have a good thumbnail image and a good title. That will help you show up in the suggested videos. And that can get you a ton, a ton of views. Okay, so uh, yeah. And then we'll come back here. We'll go to Reach. <coughs> And under reach, it says, my video has been displayed 35,000 times by YouTube, um, whether it's a suggested video or in the main search results. That's how many times YouTube has shown this uh, thumbnail image of mine. Um, I've got 3,000 views on this, and the click-through rate is 5.2%. That's kind of okay. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Um, I wish it was higher. I'm not going to play around with it today and try to get it up. But um, to get it up, you could try changing your thumbnail image or your title and see if you can get that up there. If you're like at 1%, below 1%, you definitely, right now today, need to take that video, put a new thumbnail image up that you think is better, maybe a new title that describes it a little better, and uh, do that. So um, now the other thing <coughs> is your watch time. Okay, so come back to overview and uh, the same video. And when I come down here, the other big thing is your watch time. And it says it's telling me that the average watch time, the average person watches 21% of this video. I've got some that are better, some that are worse. I'd like it to be much, much better. But for this video, it's, it's okay. You can see that uh, the viewership drops off. It's a very long, it's an hour long video and very few people stay to the end, but a lot of people stay halfway through or whatever. Um, so to get a bigger watch time, how do you get a bigger watch time? Because that sort of goes with your click through rate. The longer YouTube loves longer videos, the longer somebody stays on your video, the more likely it is to show well in the search results. Okay. So what can you do to increase your watch times? Okay. Well, first, you can, of course, try making your videos a little bit longer than your competitors if, and I say if, you can keep your viewers engaged. Now, I don't, I don't mean go out and make, you know, 
two-hour videos and post them up every day on YouTube. That's that's a little much. But if you notice in your niche that the top, you know, two, three, four, five videos uh, that come up for your main search term, if those are three or four minutes long, we'll try making a six-minute video. And if you can keep your viewers engaged, it's possible that your video could rank well um, against those other ones. So again, don't overdo it, but you know, YouTube likes longer videos because it keeps people on their platform longer. Okay? Um, then the second thing is how can you keep your viewers engaged? How can you keep them watching your videos longer? Because maybe on average your average you know view time is 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 you know one minute or two minutes or ten minutes, but your video is 30 minutes long. How can you keep them on your video longer? Well, you can try to make your videos entertaining for your viewers. You know, people see enough bad news, enough bad things um, on television and on the news and in magazines all day long. They want to have fun when they come into your videos and watch them. So try to entertain your people, whether it's an entertainment type video or it's an instructional type video. Try to keep entertaining them so that they have a good experience. And your video should be fun to watch for your viewers. They should have a good time with it. So when somebody watches one of your videos, you know, maybe like this, as they watch it, what I like to think of is I want I want them to watch my videos and from time to time smile a little bit. And I want to think that they're having a good time while they're watching my videos. And you should do the same thing. Try to employ some motion and create bite-sized segments. Um, I'm guilty of this myself. Sometimes I don't do that. But if you can break your video up into little bite-sized pieces so that um, yeah, so if you can break your video apart into bite-sized pieces, it makes it easier for people to digest um, your message. And then, you know, a big thing you can do is you can ask questions, even if they're rhetorical questions that you know that your viewers have answers to. You know, things like, does this make sense to you? Or are you with me on this? You know, things like that. Just ask a few questions one at a time because that creates, even if it's a silent, you know, internal dialogue. So asking questions is a good way to help keep people on board. That's all I've got in this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, my very best wishes for tremendous success with all that you do on YouTube. If you get a chance uh, and you'd like to, we'll subscribe to my channel and we can keep in touch with what's going on. Okay? All right. You guys are great. Take care.